Hi there, so today I'm going to be making low carb sour cream chicken enchiladas. Um, and everything that we're going to need is right here. So we'll need low carb tortillas. Uh, if you're trying to do keto, um, you can use cheese wraps. And also there's these egg wraps uh, that I've heard some people say that are pretty good. So um, there's definitely different options. Um, so the low carb tortillas, a uh, half a stick of butter, cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, sour cream, uh, some kind of cheese, whatever cheese you want, chicken fajita meat, and then um, carb quick is just going to be used to help thicken up the uh, sour cream sauce. So I'm going to get started with just rolling up the enchiladas to show you what all goes into that. Okay, so all you're going to do, um, I'm using fajita chicken, by the way. You can also use like a chicken tinga, like a kind of like a shredded chicken. I do that sometimes. I just happen to have a package of chicken fajita meat. So you're just going to take some of the chicken fajita meat. And fill up the tortilla as full as you want it. That's probably good for me. And just roll it right up. Okay, and then you're gonna repeat the same process until the pan is full. Okay, so as you can see, I've finished filling up the pan um, and I was able to squeeze eight, four, six, eight, yeah, eight um, enchiladas into this pan. Um, so now I'm just going to set that aside and get started with the sauce, starting with melting the half stick of butter into the pan. Okay, so once the butter has melted, um, it's going to be on like medium-low heat. Uh, you're just going to add in a little bit of carb quick just for a thickener. Um, it's not going to be anywhere near as much as you have to use whenever you're making like a gravy, um, like I did for my breakfast enchiladas, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. Um, it's not gonna have to have quite as much of the um, carb quick in there because the main thickness is gonna be coming from the cream cheese and the sour cream. So you're just gonna add in just a little bit I'd say probably that's good. Yeah. And then after that, we're just going to add in the heavy whipping cream. All right, so I just added some of the heavy whipping cream. Um, and you don't have to be afraid, you know, obviously you don't wanna pour in like the entire container all at once or at first. Um, but any time that you add maybe a little bit too much heavy whipping cream or any kind of liquid like that, uh, it's definitely fixable. Um, all you have to do is just cook out some of the liquid. So don't be too afraid of, you know, putting too much of the heavy whipping cream or, or like water or anything like that in when you're making sauces because it's definitely still fixable. So I just added uh, about a half a package of cream cheese in there, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add a heaping, you know, spoonful of sour cream. And I will let that all just cook together. Um, now you can turn the heat up to like a medium high to kind of get it all melted and mixed together, and then you'll turn it back down. And I forgot to say, whenever you're uh, turning it to a medium high heat, that is when you're definitely going to pretty much want to consistently be stirring it. Uh, just to make sure nothing is burning on the bottom. Uh, I've had many a time where the entire pan full of um, sauce has been ruined because I burned the bottom and then the rest just took on like a burned taste. 
So all you have to do during this process, whenever it's on high, higher heat, is just make sure to continuously keep stirring it. All right, after I let it reach um, high heat and it kind of had like a, a little boiling going on, I turned it back down uh, to like a medium low heat and right now I'm just kind of like going through and making sure all the cream cheese is mixed in and softened and completely like there's no chunks or anything like that. Uh, most of the time I end up needing to add just a little bit of salt to this uh, but I have a tendency to like salt um, a lot so my food tends to be a little bit saltier than some people's preference. Don't be afraid to uh, taste the sauce and add seasoning as you see fit. Um, remember, you can always add more, but you can't necessarily take any out. Although if you add too much sauce, all you do, or too much salt, I mean, all you would do is um, just add more of the ingredients to kind of like thin out the salt taste. All right, so once your sauce has uh, thickened up some and you've pretty much gotten rid of all the chunks of cream cheese, it's okay if there's, a, you know, some small chunks still and, and everything like that. It's not a big deal unless, you know, it bothers you and then just keep, just keep smushing it down just like this. Um, so once that reaches the thickness that you like, basically I judge it by like, you know, the spoon. If I can see more of the sauce than I can the spoon underneath it, then I know it's the right thickness. Um, so once you have uh, reached the level of thickness that you like with the sauce, then you're just going to pour it right on, on top of the enchiladas. And I went ahead and preheated my oven to 350. Okay, so I just poured the sauce on top. And the most important part, just like I said with my... Um, breakfast enchiladas linked below is that you make sure the sauce completely covers all the tortillas um, because you don't want the tortillas to just be drying out in the oven so now that I've got the sauce on there I'm just gonna pop these into the oven 350 um, I would say 20 minutes tops and then I'll pull them out and we'll top them with cheese and you will see the finished product. All right, so I just pulled it out of the oven. Um, I pulled it out between 15 to 20 minutes. I think it was like 16 minutes. Um, it's not gonna do you any harm though to keep it in for the full 20 minutes. And then I just sprinkled some cheese on top. So I'll go ahead and plate up a couple so you can see them up close. And here we have the final product, um, simple, easy, low carb, sour cream chicken enchiladas. Um, so definitely let me know what you think and like, share, comment, and subscribe to see all the new recipes that I'm coming out with. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great night.